Iraq is a country that has faced profound challenges in the 21st century, enduring extensive devastation and turmoil. But despite the trials, Iraq continues to survive. Yet many are unaware that Iraq's greatest threat is yet to come. This impending danger within Iraq has little to do with ideology or geopolitics. Situated in Iraq's northern desert is a mega dam that looms ominously and is a potential catastrophe waiting to happen, capable of unleashing death and devastation downstream where millions reside. It is often said that the collapse of this dam would be worse than a nuclear bomb explosion. Amidst Iraq's crises and conflicts, this mega dam's instability has been a persistent specter haunting the country for generations. It's even considered a miracle that the structure has endured this long. Today, let's delve into the impending collapse of Iraq's Mosul Dam, exploring its construction origins, its pivotal role in Iraq, and the contentious efforts to secure its stability. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. In the 1970s, Iraq planned the construction of a mega dam unlike any other. Initially, several international firms were approached to evaluate the site for this dam, which came to be known as the Mosul Dam. British, American, Soviet, Finnish, Yugoslav, and French experts all reviewed the location, concluding that there were more stable areas suitable for such a massive dam project than the chosen site. Nevertheless, the Iraqi government decided to proceed, and construction commenced in 1981. The majority of the construction workforce consisted of Chinese nationals. Tragically, 19 Chinese laborers lost their lives during construction, and the Iraqi administrators and project leaders reportedly faced intense pressure, fearing dire consequences if the project failed. The rationale behind constructing the dam in northern Mosul reflects a pragmatic approach rather than mere vanity. Situated on the Tigris River, prone to downstream flooding, a dam was deemed crucial. It promised better management of water resources, facilitating intricate irrigation systems and ensuring a steady water supply for agriculture, thus strengthening the nation's agricultural sector. However, the construction process was far from smooth. The area designated for the dam's reservoir happened to encompass several significant archaeological sites. Following a frantic several-year effort, both Iraqi and foreign archaeological expeditions worked tirelessly to excavate historical artifacts before rising water levels submerged much of the landscape. The Mosul Dam was inaugurated for electricity generation in July 1986 and has since operated almost continuously. This hydroelectric facility named after the city of Mosul it primarily serves, boasts a main power station capable of generating 750 megawatts, equivalent to over a million horsepower. At full capacity, the Mosul Dam's reservoir can hold nearly 3 cubic kilometers of water, equivalent to 11.1 .1 cubic miles. Positioned on the Tigris River, it primarily relies on the river's flow but also collects snowmelt from Turkey flowing southward. The dam itself stands 113 meters tall above ground level, stretching across a total length of 3.4 kilometers. Its crest is 10 meters thick at the widest points and features two spillways, a large concrete chute to safely release excess water above the designated safe level and a fuse plug designed to allow floodwaters to spill over safely if they rise too high. Managed by Iraq's Ministry of Water Resources, the Mosul Dam is crucial for controlling potential floods upstream. Overall, the Mosul Dam ranks as the fourth largest in the Middle East and generates more than 3,000 gigawatt hours of electricity annually. This substantial output is crucial for powering the city of Mosul with a population of 1.7 million people. When discussing the myriad issues surrounding the Mosul Dam, it's crucial to consider its construction as an embankment structure. This type of dam is built by compacting layers of earth and crushed stone across the path of the river to impede its flow. This method offers certain advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, Embankment dams are relatively cost-effective to construct and can adapt to changes over time. 
They also tend to handle water pressure better than rigid structures like concrete dams. However, embankment dams are more susceptible to deterioration, especially from the erosive effects of flowing water. Despite their large size, they are relatively weak and permeable to water, which increases the risk of small leaks potentially escalating into major failures and catastrophic events. In the case of the Mosul Dam, the foundation poses a significant challenge due to its composition of gypsum. Gypsum can dissolve in water, which is highly problematic for a dam structure. Early signs of instability, such as sinkholes and water bubbling up downstream, were observed shortly after the dam's completion. Iraq was well aware of this issue even before construction began, evidenced by the numerous advisory teams who cautioned against building on such unstable ground. Despite these warnings, Iraq proceeded after multiple rounds of consultations where dissenting opinions were likely disregarded. Furthermore, the consortium of engineers hired to oversee the project recommended extensive protective measures, including a strong grout curtain to safeguard the dam's foundation. However, Iraq opted to expedite the construction by cutting corners on these safeguards. This decision has heightened concerns about the dam's stability and long-term integrity. As a safeguard against catastrophic failure of the Mosul Dam, another dam called the Badush Dam was constructed downstream. But there are two problems with this second dam. Firstly, there's the dilemma of testing the dam without risking a catastrophic collapse scenario at Mosul Dam. Secondly, the Badush Dam remains incomplete after 36 years, stalled at just 40% construction, rendering it far from operational readiness. Adding to these concerns is the backdrop of war. The Mosul Dam is a strategic target and there are fears that the dam would be used as a weapon, potentially rigging it with explosives. These factors underscore the precarious situation surrounding the Mosul Dam, where technical deficiencies, incomplete contingency measures, and geopolitical instability converge to heighten the risk of a catastrophic event with devastating consequences. As a means to fix the dam, teams of hundreds of laborers and engineers have been working tirelessly for years, continuously pumping a cement-based mixture into sections of the dam's foundation prone to erosion. Failure to do so could have resulted in the complete collapse of the dam, with uncertain timelines for such a catastrophic event. In 2015, Baghdad issued a stark warning, emphasizing the Mosul Dam's unprecedented risk of sudden and catastrophic failure. This concern was echoed by the UN and Iraqi engineers who inspected the site. Despite these warnings, the Iraqi government has been reluctant to take decisive action, likely due to concerns over public backlash if the dam's vulnerability were openly acknowledged. In the years following, sporadic reports have surfaced regarding the dam's condition. Although a brief period of repair work with an Italian firm led to initial declarations of success by the Iraqi government, those efforts only addressed immediate signs of structural weakness. As for the dam's deeper underlying issues, updates consistently reflect ongoing stagnation and lack of meaningful advancement. The precarious situation of the Mosul Dam has been temporarily stabilized, but the dam remains vulnerable to unforeseen earthquakes or floods upstream that could lead to its collapse. It's crucial to consider the potential consequences if such a disaster were to occur, which would be catastrophic. The collapse of the Mosul Dam would unleash a tsunami-like wave, towering 150 feet tall, inundating the surrounding area with more than 15 cubic kilometers of reservoir water. Mosul would have approximately two to four hours from the dam's collapse until much of the city is submerged, not accounting for the time it takes for warnings to disseminate among the population. The massive wave would engulf a significant portion of the city, leaving destruction and debris in its wake as it continues forward. Within 60 to 70 hours, as the flood follows the course of the Tigris River, it will reach Baghdad, estimated to have a population of 6 million. Floodwaters could reach a depth of at least 8 meters, inundating the Tigris River floodplain and continuing onward. Consequently, both of Iraq's largest cities would suffer severe damage, with critical infrastructure obliterated and hundreds of thousands of homes destroyed. 
This would trigger a humanitarian crisis characterized by widespread shortages of electricity, clean water, food, and medical supplies, affecting millions of people. Estimates suggest fatalities from a complete failure of the Mosul Dam could range from 500,000 to 1 million. At this juncture, it is crucial to emphasize that there is still an opportunity for action. But it is estimated that cost for refurbishing the Mosul Dam would be around $4 billion. In terms of necessary action at the dam, an Iraqi environmentalist proposed in 2016 the construction of a massive 600-foot slurry wall beneath the dam, a costly endeavor never before attempted at such a scale. Other organizations have suggested adopting a strategy similar to Iraq's approach with the Badush Dam decades ago, which successfully managed floodwaters before catastrophic damage could occur. Yet, whether completing the Badush Dam or constructing a new structure, both options will require years to complete, during which time the dam's seepage issues will likely worsen. Recent efforts to address the Mosul Dam's issues have focused on constructing a protective dam downstream, but there has been no concrete action to initiate such a project. In a country where the current administration appears hesitant to undertake such a significant investment, finding funding from other sources is challenging, particularly given Iraq's complex geopolitical landscape where both Western and non-Western nations vie for influence. However, now is the time to set aside diplomatic differences, geopolitical pride, and regional alignments. Iraq urgently requires a solution to the Mosul Dam crisis, and it needs it quickly to provide a long-term solution that safeguards the lives of millions of people who depend on the Tigris River. Whether it's the United States, the European Union, China, or any other capable entity that steps up to fix the dam, the stakes are immense. The potential for catastrophe is imminent, so hesitation is not an option. What are your thoughts on the impending collapse of Mosul Dam? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.